it's 7 in the morning and we're heading to the skate park for a little skate session. Probably not a massive one because I just want this to start off the morning. And I kind of need to be back by 8. So uh, yeah, let's go there. Let's have a tiny little skate session. Also, the proximities are a tad moist. Hopefully the skate park's not too wet. I don't really know if I've shown you this yet, but right here, that is Blackcomb Mountain. That's where we've been riding for like the past week or so. And over there, that's Whistler. That's where we were riding at the start of the trip. This is a nice view where you can see both of them. Here we are at the skate park. It is a tad bit moist. There's like little dots of water everywhere, but uh, I think we should be good. Let's do some, let's do some shredding. There's also this whole other section of the skate park that we haven't even looked at yet. We've just been riding this part. This is like the old section of the skate park. A really old like bowl, but it's so much fun. Big snake run and it goes into this end bowl and it's pretty cool, but I've gotten destroyed in this bowl before. <laughs> My first time hitting this bowl, I came around here, around here, I was going pretty quick, you know, and I was going into this bowl. I knew there was a bowl at the end, but I didn't know there was a drop into it. Most people, they go up and around here, but I kind of went straight off from here down to here. All I remember is hitting the ground really hard, smashing my head, and I landed further than this drain. And I smashed my head on the ground like that. I am just glad that I was wearing my helmet when it happened because that would have been the end of the Whistler trip. <laughs> That's enough skating. Let's head back home and uh, get ready to go snowboarding. Hmm. It's looking like it's gonna be super warm up there today. So I'm just wearing two t-shirts and that's it. Oh, obviously pants as well. I think we're gonna go meet up with Kevin and uh, I gotta walk there because my parents have already left. Let's start that, let's start that, uh, let's start that walk. Uh. Uh-huh. Two renditions of We Are The World later, we've arrived at the bottom of Whistler at the gondola. Kevin's here. I'm not sure where he went, but he's here. Kevin. Yo. Yo. So, Guess how long it took me to walk here. Eight minutes. Two renditions of We Are The World. We are the world. See that over there? That's the normal chairlift we get on. We are on a different chairlift. What is this one called? Glacier chair. We are gonna go explore the mountain a little bit because I guess I haven't really done that while black cones been open. I've legit just been riding that chair every day through the park. Oh man, someone put a waterfall up here. That's a big cliff.
Anukshuk. This is called Seventh Heaven. Uh, last year we came here a lot. This year, this is my first time coming here. And, uh, cheer. And on that point, I just want to let you know about my flaming merchandise. If you don't know about it, now you do. Make sure you go to the link in the description, buy a t-shirt or a hoodie or something. I just want to let you know to not be a tool, be cool. Back to the video. Yeah, oh, it hasn't came yet. Mine hasn't come yet either. Uh, <laughs> this is awesome. Oh my god, it's Steven Jones. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> what Thanks, man. I love your videos. Awesome. Thank you. That was so sick meeting you guys on here. If any of you guys ever see us on the mountain, make sure you say hi. So right now, Kevin has told me about some secluded hike run, and that's what we're gonna go do because he brought his drone up, and you're not allowed drones on Whistler, so we're going somewhere where no one will be able to see us use the drone. What a freaking weirdo, he's like talking to his camera. That's so strange. This ridge line's crazy. Dang! It looks pretty deadly down there. Look at how many expert only signs there are. That's how you know. Where's a good drop? This is great. Ooh! Oh, mini avalanche. Oh, that's so sticky. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, look at that. We're back at the park. But if you two come to drop and the music is right, she might let you stay. But just for the We're here at the bottom of the hike that we have to do. We have to go up this thing. I didn't film the ride over because this is a secret. Shh. Gotta head up here now. It looks dodgy down there. Now I am, and it does look dodgy. Whoa. 
<laughs> Damn. Almost went down. Woo. Whoa, I don't want to go down there. <laughs> I'm assuming down there's a bunch of cliffs. Yeah, down there's the biggest cliff ever. We can't slide down there. Ah, some split boards. Made it. <laughs> that was so dodgy. It was. <laughs> Whoa, here it is. The drone. So you're not really allowed to use drones on Whistler. We had to come up this, uh, this place here. Never mind, the drone wouldn't turn on for some reason. But anyway, we're up here. You can like see all of Whistler down there. And Kevin, there's like two split boards laying over there with no owners. Originally I thought that the owners were behind that rock smoking weed or something, but I don't think they are because there's no smell of the devil's lettuce. And I'm thinking those boards are free to take for anyone who finds them. Or they hiked their way up here for some reason. Cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hello, and I really do hope you fools enjoyed this video. If you did and you ain't already subscribed, please consider subscribing because it helps me out a whole lot and it would mean a lot to your boy. On the night that I'm filming this, it is currently my second to last night here in Whistler. Then we go back to New Zealand and uh, yeah, so we gotta make the most of it. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and uh, supporting my channel. It really does mean a lot. And, uh, I guess I will catch you guys all tomorrow. Thanks, dudes. Oh, make sure to subscribe. Sweet and all who we are. It'll take five days by car.